Hello, happy Monday, and greetings from Hawaii. That was last night, right here in this very place. We're in Hanaka'a, and uh, Terry is over there, our, our hostess uh, for tonight. And let me show you the view from here. This is uh, behind us. Now, uh, I'm going to just tip the camera here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Right there. Okay. On a hillside beautiful hillside with uh, the ocean in the background. How about that? So I uh, can't ask for any better view than that. Um, and uh, by the time of the concert last night, uh, you know, it was a little dim behind me. So I just wanted you to see it now. We are in daylight now in Hawaii, right? I know it's evening for you out on the East Coast and uh, Central, and back my home base in Nashville. Uh, but uh, it's just been an incredible tour, and my favorite part of the tour has been the house concerts. Just, uh, it's such an intimate setting, and I uh, can interact with the people, and, and just we've had wonderful, wonderful hosts. I've been treated like royalty here. So I say we because my friend Shashi Light has come along with me. Shashi, come here and say hello. So uh, she's been my uh, Girl Friday, <laughs> this, this show. Sorry about the, the light. It's, uh, we, we have such bright sunlight here. We are 
We, we look quite light, don't we? Yes. yes yeah. We <laughs> I have white skin now. <laughs> uh, she, uh, she can pass easily for Hawaiian, though, um, if not for the, for the bright sunlight. Um, and I am going to take a, a look and see if you have some requests and some thoughts. I, I know we're, we're saying some hellos. Hi from Hawkeye, Arkansas again, and uh, New Jersey, and uh, from Bunny there, who was just in my class. Uh, uh, my Tuesday class got moved to Monday because we're flying to Maui tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we'll see some of you out there. If you have any friends in Maui, send, send them out my way. And uh, I think uh, all the shows are on my website, so you can find everything there. Well, let me show you a little clip. We, we want to say hello to Kelly in Kona. She hosted uh, the first house concert here. And this is on her balcony here, on her lanai. And uh, I'll show you just a little clip, a tune called Sour Mash Rag by Mark Cass Stevens. This is why, this is it. <laughs> okay, how was that? Uh, beautiful setting for a concert, wasn't that? Uh, uh, palm trees and the ocean in the background. We do have a request here for uh, why worry? Because it's not like that everywhere. <laughs> it's, and this is especially for the folks in Georgia. And uh, I understand there's some tornadoes going through. Wow. So uh, hopefully everyone here is safe and... Uh, this goes out to you.
Well, greetings to you all, and uh, so we, well, we have a lot of a lot of hellos popping in here. And I want to know how it sounds because we are low tech today. As you know, we're on the road, so just a very simple simple mic and whatever uh, internet there is here up on the mountain uh, in the Hanukkah. Yes, uh, and the, I tell you the. Um, volcano yesterday was really amazing day before yesterday we, when we went and uh, i played at the volcano arts center and saw the volcano by day and by night and i'll show you some clips if you like uh, let me know if you want to want to see those I'll, I'll pull them up and and can show them to you um, we have uh, some haze uh, from uh, um, Jean-Marc Toulouse in France and Andrea in Austria, yes, uh, also in my class. Uh, we are talking about uh, starting a second class. One, we have one on Tuesdays, um, and uh, we're, we're learning She Big, She More. That's that real pretty Irish one. And so uh, we're looking at starting an, another class on a Sunday afternoon, so let me know if you might be interested in, in that as, as well. We want to see if we have an enough folks to, to have a, a second class started. And uh, we've just been, you know, really having a nice time with the, the folks in the, in the class. Um, and uh, I see some, several of you here. <laughs> okay, and, oh, we have a question on what kind of plant this is. Um, so this is, this is a question for Terry. What plant is this behind me? You no, know, I know what it is, but I cannot access that part of it. <laughs> yes, you know, I remember we had these these uh, plants sometimes, uh, and they are very bright red, and uh, we call them pecker flowers, because <laughs> I don't think that's the correct term for them. Okay, if somebody has the correct term, <laughs> um, you know, that might not be the, the Latin name for it. Um, uh, so I think we, we need help on this one. We are coming at a loss with what this is. We, there are so many incredible plants uh, growing around the property here. Just, uh, you, Anthurium. there's breadfruit here. Isn't that amazing? And Anthurium. Anthurium. Yes. Okay, Anthurium, bing, bing, bing. Thank you. <laughs> You've come to the rescue to answer our questions here. Uh, and we also had, uh, some other questions about uh, Hawaiian music. Oh, we should play my Hawaiian lullaby. Um, and Shashi can sing a little harmony to, to, as well. And then uh, after that, we'll show you a, a clip of the uh, volcano. So don't go away. The volcano is just incredible. So I wrote this after my first uh, visit to Hawaii. And then Makana had uh, found some lyrics by Queen Lily. Uh, now, how do you pronounce it? Lilio. Lilio Kalani. Lilio Kalani. <laughs> okay. Hawaiian oh, lullaby. Shashi, you'll get, uh, can you get down a little? I'll, I'll pull the the camera up so we get get her a little bit in the.
Okay, I think I've got the, uh, the a little video here from the volcano, and uh, here we go. Let's see if uh, see if this pulls up. That was the volcano by night, and uh, you can see there was a one section that was very active. This is uh, like volcano Kili Kiliwa Kiliwao. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am I'm useless at Hawaii. I'm just completely useless. All right, um, and this has been erupting now for about three weeks, I believe. Right, so it's, um, it's uh, this this portion of the volcano. Look at that! Gee, holy smokes! Uh, and, um, this was after the concert at the Volcano Art Center, and then. Uh, went uh, not terribly far and uh, Dina uh, was kind enough to drive me out there and we saw this incredible sight and you know the Hawaiians revere a volcano goddess and you can see why it's just a, a spiritual thing to be out here and uh, experience the power, the full power of nature. This is the earth being created as we are watching it. This, this is molten lava, molten earth spewing out, creating new land here. We've created this entire island. And this is the same thing by day. So this is this uh, yesterday morning. And we went out and you can see that's that uh, spewing bit right there. You can see the expanse so that's, uh, of that's this whole area. So an incredible, incredible. And uh, all this volcano smoke, uh, they call it VOG, it, it combines with the vapor of the, the water vapor, and uh, the VOG then moves towards Kona, <laughs> towards the Kona side, and uh, makes it foggy for some time, yeah. And, uh, oh, we have some, someone more hellos, and you wanna say hi to, our, uh, hi to Mike, Michael there. And uh, let's see, Shashi, do we have some other uh, hellos and comments coming in? Wall says, are you inspired to write a volcano song? You know, Kevin, I think that is a good idea. I think I'm going to do it now, all right? It's your fault now if I do it. Well, a volcano song. Uh, what should we do? So, see if we can do it by next week, by next Monday live. Okay, this is, I'm going to challenge myself. All right, Kevin, you've done it now. 
I'm going to challenge myself between now and next Monday Live to write a volcano song. Because, you know, the, we have the, the visuals behind me on a lot of the shows that I'm doing. And uh, so we'll do it. This will be kind of reversed now. We've got the visuals first, and the music can come second. Just kind of like in the uh, Acoustic Chef book, where uh, all the songs, the, uh, except for one, the recipe came first, and then the mu music I wrote or arranged second, except for, except for Fine Pickle. I think that was the one that the music came first. So uh, let's, uh, let me uh, bring you into the audience of the show last night, and I'll play another tune here. This is one that was requested, so we'll, we'll pop it in right, right now. Here we go. That's right, that was a baker's dozen. I know I, some of you were trying to count in 13. It is 13 uh, time. And so the way you count that, it's in a, it's in a different tuning. On this. It's in standard tuning. So it's little groups of two and three. So. Or you can count it one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then that, that continues the same way. But instead of counting all three, you just for every group of three, you just say long, and then every group of two, you say short. And so that's much easier that long, short, short, long, 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 short, short, long, long. So 
So, hence a baker's dozen. And yes, that was inspired by eating way too much baklava. Uh, so uh, we do have, uh, oh, uh, Michael says, uh, hey, um, and yes, I was on Larry's Country Diner. That was a fun show. I'd love to do that again. So uh, any, else, anyone else see that episode of Larry's Country Diner? <laughs> it's, it's, you know, on, on one hand, it seems like, you know, really down home, you know, East Tennessee show, and uh, they they have some some really um, nice guests. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I was on, but uh, they have some wonderful music on that, uh, for sure. And we have uh, also a little bit more information on this flower here. Not only is it called, uh, let me see, this is in small print here. Yeah. Okay, not only is it called anthurium, but it's also called tail flower, flamenco flower, and lace leaf. Plus there's names of almost 200 varieties. Whoa, yeah, we do see that quite a lot here. So this is Neil from, from Clearwater. Yeah, so thank you for that. Well, uh, I don't want to stay too long because we have a bit of a drive to get to, get, to go to Kona, and we want to get there in time for dinner. So if you want to join us for dinner, if you are in Kona, just let me know. Just send me a text or something. Or, um, you can always email and Pamela, hopefully she'll get it to you. Um, and um, yeah, well, you're welcome to join us for dinner. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I want to finish off with, with a tune that I, I did last night in the concert. And this was inspired by that trip that Brian and I took up to Penobscot Bay, Maine, and we were anchored at Seal Trap Cove there. And so it's in, it was just in the middle of the night, and uh, this is where this melody came to me. Uh, I'll show it to you. But uh, before I, we run into that, uh, any other last minute uh, questions or hellos or comments? Oh, and we have one here. Uh, Timothy Butler says, uh, pearly shell for this uh, plant. Okay, so this is also called pearly shell. Maybe. All right, so there may, may be another name. All right. Okay, so next week it is the volcano song for sure. <laughs> All right. And I'll see some of you uh, live uh, either uh, for dinner in Kona tonight or uh, in, in Maui this coming week. And then Phoenix uh, and Cottonwood um, just the following weekend. Okay. Okie doke. This is the tune uh, that was inspired in the middle of the night in Penobscot Bay. What up? The sound of an owl. And then another answer. From the other side of the bay. <laughs>
see him rowing back from the side of the cove. Because every orange stroke was lit up by the bioluminescence of the water. Well, I thought I was finished, but we did have one request for hometown, so I will leave you with that and I'm going to say aloha to, to everyone. And uh, we'll see you next week, uh, hopefully with the volcano song. <laughs> All right.